Hello, my name is Dr Ashani Rao and I'm about to qualify as an NHS GP in order to develop a career in conservation medicine. I'm a vegan activist, a founder of the organisation Buckets of Love, a member and a speaker for the wonderful organisations Plant-Based Health Professionals UK and Ecomedics. I've teamed up with Animal Aid to present to you my top five tips for being a healthy vegan. There are a lot of common misconceptions about being vegan, but organisations such as the British Dietetic Association support the fact that well-planned vegan diets can support healthy living in people of all ages. This is the nation's largest group of nutrition professionals. My first piece of advice is that being vegan doesn't have to be boring. You're still able to eat pizzas, pastas, burgers and cakes, but just think about how you can make healthy plant-based switches. For example, you could use wholemeal and seeded breads. You can load your homemade pizzas with so many colourful and fresh ingredients. Make roasted vegetable chips rather than potato chips. The jokes about rabbit food are getting pretty outdated now that we can eat exactly the same things but with yummy vegan substitutes. Hippocrates, often described as the founder of modern medicine, famously said, let food be thy medicine. We know that one in four people now suffers a chronic disease, and these are often preventable and reversible through food and lifestyle. For example, beetroot opens up your blood vessels, improves circulation, and can even decrease your blood pressure. Garlic can do similar. I heard in one of our GP training days about heart disease recently, that red yeast rice can act as the equivalent of a statin tablet to reduce cholesterol. There's loads of scientific evidence to support this. My third tip is to not ignore the role of the gut-brain axis. The gut-brain axis refers to the network of physical and chemical connections between your digestive system and your brain. A whole food plant-based diet, aiming for more than seven portions of fruit and vegetables rather than five, is a good way to improve gut health and to improve the connection with your brain. Incorporating fermented foods such as kimchi, kombucha, sauerkraut and sourdough are good ways of improving the good bacteria in our gut and regulating the gut-brain axis. These are actually really easy to make in big batches at home, so find some recipes online and give it a go. My fourth tip for being a healthy vegan is that initially it helps to do your homework before you go to shops or restaurants to avoid being confused or frustrated. Being vegan does initially take a bit more planning and preparation. Form a network of vegan friends, join online vegan groups and communities, and attend vegan festivals and events, as these will all inspire you to find delicious vegan foods. This can really motivate you to stay enthusiastic and can help you to feel less isolated in a world that normalizes animal abuse. My fifth tip for being a healthy vegan is that you shouldn't be ashamed to use supplements or to seek advice from healthcare professionals. I take my Veg1 supplements from the Vegan Society daily, which contains B12, vitamin D and other essential nutrients. I also take iron gummies regularly to boost my haemoglobin levels. If you find yourself in need of professional advice, the Plant-Based Health Professionals UK website has a directory of amazing vegan and plant-based health professionals, including nutritionists, personal trainers and counsellors, who will be able to guide you.